alone. That is a sense of pride. Exactly. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Kim Lai, and you're watching Talk on This. And I'm super excited because today I have all the way from Washington State, Woo! my good buddy. Where's the, I wish I had those arrows that go doo, 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 doo. like that. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Christina Tucker. Hello. Okay, so before we get started, we need to make sure that you guys can hear us and see us. And that you guys, um, I see there's quite a few people. That's good, good. Um, give us a little thumbs up. Um, over in the left hand, or maybe it's the right hand corner for you guys. Hi from <laughs> your TLC family. Those are my co-workers. Woo -hoo. Shout out to Mr. School District. Oh, good morning. Morning. oh my God. Okay, now you guys, if you're going to leave comments and you want us to be able to um, really see them, see them, make sure you put the at symbol before the comment and the comment or question um, will go ahead and stream live on the monitor. Otherwise, it just stays over there in the chat column, which is fine too, because you guys can just chat, chat away. Um, so, how is everybody doing today? Is everyone having an amazing Tuesday morning? Give us a little thumbs up, you guys. It should make it, how do you say it? Make it rain. Make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> a make it rain. Oh, look at oh, that thumbs up. Yay. Okay. Ooh, ooh, hi, now. Okay, today, you guys. Um, I want to share with you one of Christina's grandpa's, I was going to say old times, old school, old, old, school, old, old school, school recipes. Um, and then, look, I have, she brought his recipe card, so check this out, you guys. Look at it, it has writing and everything. Isn't that amazing? So, today we're going to be making those kraut runzas, or runzas, kraut runzas. And, uh, and the kraut just means rotting cabbage. Rotting? Rotting? No, we're adding cabbage. Oh, that we're adding cabbage. Because that's the kraut. Rotting. Kraut means you're adding cabbage to it. If you don't yeah. want cabbage, you can just call it runza. Runza. Right? Yeah. Oh. Um, oh, let's go and turn. We'll, we'll get this just turned on. So today we're going to use her um, her grandpa's recipe, and we're going to make some of these kraut runzas. But before we get started, I mean... <laughs> Important thing is the most important thing, you guys, is we have to have some German beer. German style beer. Yes, because everyone drinks at 11.30. <laughs> okay, so Christina knows way more about beer. She's mainly frost okay. sunglasses, and yes. she's going to bring out, show us where the beer. I'm getting it. So we're doing Bill. You eat? Yes. Woo. Oh, wait, it is raining. It okay. is raining. Ooh, that was really frosty. Oh my god, okay, so look, she made me frost the glasses, which keep the beer at Oh, oh you look at you see the Christina, the the snow, or what do you call that? Frost the snow ice? ice? The ice, the look at the it's foaming off the ground. Oh yes, look at what do you call that? I forget it's, um like um, that condensation. Condens <laughs> condensation. Hi Christy! Woo! Christy! Another not murder. We couldn't really find any German imported beer. We oh my god. Look. She was so frustrated um, yesterday. Yeah, frustrated. But we have German style beer. So yes. we have a Hefeweizen, which and is a traditional light style German beer. Yes. And I like dark beer. So we have a, it's a fireman's brew. This is a double box. Double box or a darker German beer. And I like dark German beer. Oh, they taste oh. dark. I'm telling you, they taste dark going down. Um, and this is from Golden Road. The yeah. Hefeweizen is from Golden Road, which is a local oh. brewery here in LA. Got to support, support. So we're gonna taste there a difference. Mm -hmm. If it's in a oh ice. <laughs> okay. Wow. Is there a difference oh in? God. It's okay. I Yay! <laughs> this is so much fun. See, it's mine so looks awesome. like coffee. Look how dark and thick and rich. Can you guys see? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, foam. Foam. Nice head. Nice head. head. The beer has so a nice head. So you call that foam head. Yeah. It's got a good head on it. And Ireland, the Guinness has a fabulous head on it. Mm. I don't know who came up with that. Like, that is so sexual. Mm. There's your head. Look at how. Oh my god, mine has a really big head. <laughs> <laughs> I think you didn't pour it right. I did I wanted to use the You guys. Bigger head. Look at these are my bump. Well, you can't see this one. But this is. Bongo Java, which is a roaster in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, my favorite, favorite, favorite roaster. Woo -hoo. Okay. 
Mm. So, it's delicious. What are you supposed to do with the head? Isn't there something a trick to get rid of the head? Put <laughs> <laughs> some grease on your finger and then rub your finger in it. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. Well, oh, what about the chair? <laughs> Sorry. I'm not like this. Oh, bam. Mm. So it's clean. Okay, cheers, everybody, to German here and over here. Oh. Okay, I'll put it here. No, over here. Okay. Uh, it is foam. Yeah, it's foam. Okay. Because okay. they're out of the way. Three so later. we have our drinks ready for the show. All right. All right. Now, you guys, we're going to, um, these are the ingredients that you need. We're going to make the filling first because the filling takes a little bit of time. And with the filling, you need, what do we got? We have ground beef. All the spices, and if Christina's pouring the spices in, then she's going to go up. She'll let you know which spices um, that she's using. And then, of course, we need um, an onion, about half an onion. And then we're going to use some cabbage. And, and you can use red or kind of green. Yeah, the red would have been pretty. We didn't see it last time. Like, oh, we should have used some red. But um, so let's go ahead and we use the green. Yeah, because we're all about tradition here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, every time you drink, I want to drink. Mm. You know what, if we drink, we can do the game. Every time we drink, you guys can give a part. Are you guys all in school right now, teaching our future generation of children things? Because if that, we're going to play a drinking game at 1130. This sounds awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's do it. We're going to start cooking. Yes. Six hot. minutes in, we start cooking. It's awesome. It's very warm. Yeah, we're gonna, it's going to get very warm in here. Okay, so while Christina's making the filling, um, ooh, we have a 7-Eleven next door beer time. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, go buy some beer, go buy some beer, and we'll toast every time. We'll put our sweet. Well, I don't know what you Sweet. Sweet. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. Christina. Yeah. So we're um we're going to go ahead and make the filling. Here. Yeah, I'm like a part of her. this. You need to give me the onion. Um, oh, yes. Oh, but you put that no, in okay, first. So here's the thing. This is lean ground beef. Mm -hmm. You don't add any oil to this because the, the oil from the meat, the fat from the meat, is going to give just enough to soften the onion. So just add it straight in. No oil, no nothing. And that's Ooh, a this little. three quarters in the book. That's three quarters of um, a pound, you guys. Ooh, All right. That was wonderful. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. So this is the filling, and we're doing um, the hamburger, and then we're going to add, let me some fat. <laughs> And then we're going to add in some onion. Chopped onion, right? You want me to chop it? Yeah, right. Chop it. I got. Some. You want to keep everything in like little bite-sized pieces because when you bite into the lung press, you're okay. going to have those bite-sized pieces in there. Nice. But you want to keep it smaller. I'm the sous chef today, <laughs> so we're cooking, and I'm just like the sous chef. <laughs> no, she's actually bossy. But that's okay. Bossy. bossy in the kitchen. <laughs> Done. We worked on patience this morning. <laughs> now one of my um, you know, my mom when I was little used to constantly some talk about family stuff. Used to constantly tell me, "It's a pain in the hassle, bad temper, just like a father." Oh my God. <laughs> we were talking about that yesterday. You know when you hear that, oh, it's like you don't want to hear that. It, it, yes, he's my dad, but still, you don't want to. That's like not. You're not saying it in a nice way. Oh. But I think I could get my temper from my mother. Because she, she, she hung up on me last night. We were trying to make fun of her. We were all in the car and we called her and asked her to say a certain <laughs> word. Poodle. Poodle. She can't say poodle. So she says, did you go get that bobo? Is that bobo? <laughs> and she, when we asked her to say it, she says, no kim. She gets so mad. No kim. <laughs> it's like she has to be in the right frame of mind for me to be able to make fun of her. Ooh. Okay. Now, the so, hamburger. Yes. You don't want to overcook it. You want to cook the hamburger till it's browned, lightly browned. And if you overcook mm -hmm. it, you will have dry rumbas. Oh, yes. And you don't want Nobody dry. Nobody wants dry rumba. No one likes anything dry. <laughs> <laughs> We've already talked about that. I think it's not the meeting to not be dry. Awesome. Okay. You ready for? Yes. Yeah, put it right in the middle. In that group. Now, the onions have all been chopped. You guys, whenever you chop, you want to make uh, make sure that things are consistent so everything cooks evenly. Ooh, yummy. Okay. So let's drop yeah. the onions in. Yep. Okay. And then, Christina, what are you going to need next? I'm going to... Um, I have to burp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Your makes me gassy. <laughs> but in my belly. 
Okay. Yeah, you okay. See, I like to have this. My grandpa can have this. Ooh, you almost lost my finger. My grandpa has this seasoning sometimes later, but I like to have this seasoning now because I really like to coat the hamburger with it. So, oh. Like so here we go. Casey said to let it rip, girl. Let it rip. Okay. So I like to have this honey now. Oh, okay. Okay. So here we go. It says a fourth of a teaspoon and everything because we cut it back when we're making a smaller batch. But I don't ever. So obviously you just yeah. double it. When I'm cooking, oh, I don't measure. When I'm baking, I do, but I'm not going to cooking. I'm going to drink. Give it a second. Let's okay. drink together. Chili powder. Chili powder. Fourth of a teaspoon. Um, thyme. Fourth of a teaspoon of thyme. Mm -hmm. If you don't like thyme, you can add rosemary or thyme. All right. But I like thyme. Yum. And then um, garlic powder. If you don't like garlic powder, you could add fresh garlic instead. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. And then pepper. Gotta get some pepper in there. Fresh ground pepper. So she eyeballs. You know, a lot of people when you're messing around in the kitchen, they just eyeball. Yeah. You know, you have to play around with your food to figure out which and salt. What and ingredients salt. you like the yeah. most? Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. And then, buddy, how much? Um, how much of the cabbage? Shredding the cabbage. How much do you need? Um, give me about three fourths of a cup. Three fourths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you guys, I pulled out a different knife for the cabbage because the cabbage is more fibrous and it's it's harder. I can't use my ten inch. Um, my 10 inch carbon knife because it's, it's really thin and doesn't give me a lot of pull or weight. So I'm bringing out my butcher knife, which is very, very heavy, but it lets me. Oh my it just, <laughs> it's so Sorry. It's, it's, so it's, it's, I'm so hungry. It's heavy and it lets me really get into what I need to get into, which is cabbage. <laughs> I love cabbage. I love cabbage too, but cabbage is another thing that makes it gassy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why? I don't know why, but we looked this up last night. We looked up things because Christina was eating cherries, and she's like, "Oh, these are gonna make me gassy." Well, they don't make me gassy, so it's like not everything makes not everything works the same on everybody. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. It smells delicious. It does. Okay, so like the hamburger right now is just barely starting to get that nice little brown color to it. Smells so and, good in here, you guys. Yeah, and I didn't drain this because it's lean meat, and I need that. I need that fat in there for the cabbage and stuff. Another, you guys. Another reason we're using a, a more lean meat is to save us a little bit of time yeah. and having to go drain. Because we want to. Yep. Plus, well, I like not having to drain. Yes, it's the faster step. Okay. Yeah. So, ready. We're ready for the burger. Ready cabbage. Now you're supposed to cook all of this. You can cook it for about 15-20 minutes total. You don't have to completely have the cabbage cooked all the way. I would have the hamburger cooked all the way though. Yeah, well, duh. Yeah. Who eats raw because hamburger? It is going to bake inside the oven and it will continue cooking inside the oven. Oh, yeah. You. Excuse my reach. Excuse my reach. Why did we put this way over here? You're excused. Bam. Yummy. It's never going to It smells like teen spirit. <laughs> Bill. Bill Nirvana. Okay. All right. Now, German food is so good. Woo -hoo. Yummy, yummy. Okay, now I'm sure you guys are all wondering like what these go into. <laughs> <laughs> so the other part of the kraut is the runza, um, which means it's like a dough pocket. And so um, runza means dough pocket with something savory on the inside. Yep. So we're obviously here's the savory. Yep. And now, so we're making a, a dough. We gotta make the dough to put the stuff into. And now you can use a basic dough, you guys, which is the water, flour, yeast, and you're gonna let it um, sit for a few hours. Or you know how Trader Joe's has like the little containers with already pre-made dough, mm -hmm. same ingredients, um, but they just already did the work for you. Well, someone else already did the work for you too, and that's the Pillsbury man. <laughs> the little dough boy. <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh. Just uh, turn the camera off. So, you guys, we've got biscuits, which is a dough. So, it's sexy. Mm. Nice. Oh, buddy, look. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there yep, you go. Put it, no, put it real close. There you go. I can see it. Oh, if you can see it. There we go. See it. Okay, so, it's it starting to The cabbage piece is a little bit longer. The cabbage piece is a little bit longer, but we're getting there. I feel like. No, when you're drinking like a nice cold beer, you need to be out mowing the lawn. Oh, you need to oh, oh, time. Drink time. Okay, all you educators, drink mm -hmm. up. It's summer somewhere. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, so 
summer right here. Like it's all up in here. It's summer right okay. now. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. Now, so these are the little. You can buy the pre-made dough. You guys, dough is dough. So if you want to make it, Grandpa's rolling over in his grave right now. Uh, okay. This is a good short flour, water. water, and yeast must have changed over the past thirty years. Grandpa so, said. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh. Anything we're doing right is we're taking the time to do it right. And that's what we're doing for you guys right now. Okay, um, so do you remember when you were little and you had these stoves? I can't. Ooh. They look like a butter. Mm. See? Awesome. These are also the perfect size, you guys, for the um, room says. Yeah, they're, they're perfect. Yes. So we're we'll going to do 10 cutting too. Yes. We're going to do 10. Because Grandpa would roll off the dough and cut it into circles of squares. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. You want to get flour your surface. Buddy, I'm ready. getting a facial. Can you see the. <laughs> oh my God. That's actually what I do on each show. It's like, oh, oh it's facial. It's facial time. It's a hamburger facial. Oh, it's like there's like a cow sitting on your face. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't sound good. That did not. Exactly, because that's what Asians do, and Christina's yeah, me learning. Facial. Yes, Casey, a meat facial. You wonder why it looks so young? I, was having, I showed Christina just last night. Meat okay. facials are fabulous. Look at that one. You guys, you want to always flour your surface, not sure if you're working with a pre-made dough, or if you're making dough from scratch. You just got them. Yeah, do you want to turn, just turn it off? Yeah, I'm going to turn it down below. Oh, yeah. Um, buddy, go ahead and take the stuff out of the oven. Go ahead and take it out and then put yeah. it on the top. Yep, it's coming out. Yeah, it's coming out. Come on. All right. So. Oh my goodness. Right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I was like, oh my god. I thought you grabbed that with your hand. No. All right. So you can buy the pre-made dough, you guys, in uh, either nine ounces or twelve ounces. This was a super large one, and so what we're gonna do is five per pan, and we're just gonna lay them out with the flour. You want to get flour on all sides because dough is super sticky. And then yep. you take out your little rolling pin, and you can use this to flatten the dough out. So that's a cute tool. Thank you. It's my pamphlet. There's another piece to it, but it broke. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this is going to come in handy someday. Great. Oh, and also, if you want to do a variation on this, I mean, the spices I use are great. That's the traditional way. But if you like, um, where is that cute rolling pin from? Pampered Chef. It's actually a tart. You know when you're making tarts? It's a tart dough roller. Look, but look, you guys, hold on. I love kitchen gadgets. Yeah, yeah, gadgets. <laughs> so I think I'm going to stick to my vodka and wine. I don't, <laughs> woo, the beer makes me feel so fluffy. And I think it just stays in your body. But look, so here's the rolling pin. So there's a smaller size, which is right there. Oh, and here's this. They make a plastic one like that, too. So they have the plastic And then, one. okay, well, they say plastic. No, so you're during Kim Life's kitchen. Yeah, yours is so mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. Love me some vodka. Yeah. That's too. So it broke. And you know what, you guys? Even when your stuff breaks, it's like you can still use it. Because look, I still have a handle, and now this is small. And I'm getting this part taken off, and now I can just use it like this. So yep. don't throw your stuff away unless it's totally not usable. Oh, Huge. What I would think about the spices, in the if you want to like stray from tradition a little bit, you could add curry powder to this. Mm -hmm. You could, oh, my husband loves Tony Chakris. You could spice it up with some Tony Chakris, give it a little kick. Where is it? Um, right here. What? You can pull this. Oh, I can hear you saying. Well, I will. So you can add Tony Chakris to this. If you have another favorite spice seasoning you like, you can season it up. You can kind of do what, what is that pepper? What is what pepper? What's oh, what pepper? Tony Chakris? Oh, it's a spicy seasoning that's already blended together for you. I've never heard of What's the logo? Like, what's on the can? A guy, it's a green label with a guy in a white little chef hat, like a little hat. Yeah. And you can buy it at Walmart, any grocery store, oh. whatever. It's good. It's just got a little kick to it's it. It's good. If you like some spice, some heat. These are good with some heat, too. You can even dump these in, like, spicy stuff when you're, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can oh, make any kind of dipping balls. Yeah. They're pretty plain, so you can dump them in whatever you want, if you wanted to. But I like them just traditional, because they're delicious. <laughs> Christina likes everything My traditional. My grandpa would make German <laughs> potatoes with them on the side. So we'd have oh. German potatoes and some rice and sauerkraut. Do you mm -hmm. were saying you could make sides for this? Yeah, you can put the sides. You can do it as an appetizer. Mm -hmm. You can make it as a main dish. You can eat it as your main staple, whatever you'd like to do. Do you want to know what these are comparable to, you guys? <laughs> like, if you're Hispanic, like these would be your empanadas. Yeah, very if similar. If you were at Porto, these would be true. <laughs> what do we have? We had them the other day, like little chicken pockets. Yeah. If you're pizza pockets. Yeah.
Yeah, there it is. Yeah, the grocery store with your little children. Eat the pocket. Hot pockets. Oh, hot pockets. <laughs> yes. Yes. What, what Asian? I don't, we don't have things like that. No. But if you have little kids that we're doing right now, no. this rolling out the little um, biscuit dough, your kids can help in the kitchen with that. If you got kids. Yeah, look how fun this is. Yeah, they can totally like pound them out and do whatever they want. It's a good way to have the kids help. Pound them, yeah. Roll them out, pound them out, stretch them out. I love this. Whatever you, you like my workstation? Yes, it's beautiful. Let's do it right here on the counter. On the counter. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just flattening them out, you guys. And I'm letting, all, I'm letting this just cool a little bit. And we were thinking about maybe like if you wanted to make these in advance and put them in the fridge. You can make these in advance, yeah. but I would not put the filling in the dough and then stick them in the fridge because the dough is going to absorb all the, you know, get foggy. So, yeah. so you can roll out the dough, put it in a little bag, make this in advance, put it in a glass of container, and then fill them the next day right before you make them. Works great. So we determined last night that we determined a lot of stuff. Oh my God, you guys, it, are there any people out there that are, what's that show? Um, what, what are we watching? Oh, Game of Thrones! Game of Thrones! Yeah, I okay, so I don't um, like me much right now. Oh my gosh, like no sleep, like double sleep numbers on my eyes last night. And Christine yeah. ate me and she goes, do you go to sleep after me and you wake up before me? What are you doing? I can't stop watching that damn show. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I was an anti Game of Thrones person too until watch I watched it, it and then it sucks you in and takes over your whole life. It has taken over. It takes over your like, life. Oh, literally. It's unbelievable. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay, no, no, no. Well, okay. yeah, I mean, you, I guess you can go ahead and okay. start. So, once you have this done, and this is pretty good, the cabbage mm. is just starting to get a little translucent, the onions are translucent, and so you want to just kind of fill like half of it? Yeah, so, but I rolled them out a little bit more so you can. Yeah. Well, just. You can try one. Let's see. see if they can see that. So I'm just putting like a, you know, like a tablespoon or two on there. Mm -hmm. I mean, the more I roll out, the bigger it is for you. Yes, it is. You know, your area. The more roll, the bigger. Okay. So while she's doing that, you guys want to get a big, turn your stove on to 350. I had to burp. I got to burp. Oh, that was a big one. Damn. And we haven't got one. That was a German burp. Oh, that was a German oh, beer burp. Please, please, cheers. Are you rich when school gets for people? Mm. Oh, my double bar. Okay, so if you can see this, I put the filling in. Can you see that? Okay, I'm going to, I'm losing my filling. I know I'm losing my mind. Okay, so you fold it over to a half moon shape, and then I'm going to lift it, and you just want to pinch, kind of just keep pinching the edges. I'm going to lift this up here so you can see. Yes, yeah, go closer. I'm going to go closer. Can you guys see? Yeah. I'm going to pinch the edges right here. So you want to seal in all that wonderful cabbage German goodness. Here, it's all sealed in there. Oh, German goodness. Oh, you want to take the Okay. Remember, the closer it gets, the better it gets. <gasps> Look at that! My onion is leaking out. Uh oh, Christina said, oh, God. Yeah, you have to just shove that little thing back in there like that. I want to try to fill it as good as you can. You do not poke holes in it. Okay, here you go, buddy. You'll let the one Don't poke holes in your holes. Okay, game of Runzas! That means break! Go! Okay! Ah, break! Game of Runzas! Oh, German style beer is delicious. Two drunk girls in the kitchen. That's the new thing. <laughs> okay, you ready? We're going to prime it after this. <laughs> We're going to work this to work oh. it off. Oh, oh, you guys. Oh, wait, buddy. Wait, wait. I have, to, I have to do this real quick. Oh, yeah. You guys, take your baking sheet and line it with aluminum foil. But remember, take your little spray bottle with olive oil and spray it a little bit. You don't want anything to stick. Presentation. Presentation. Oh, this one looks pretty. This one's going to mm. lay better. Can you see? Oh yeah, they are trying to do this. Yeah. You're just gonna put them on this your face. Way sheet. better. Yeah. You gotta get way. Oh yeah. Cool. Let it focus. Let it focus. Oh, it's so close. Oh, look at my silver nail. <laughs> closer. Get closer. I can't. <laughs> I'm so over. I'm almost okay, there. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Hey, do you guys like my comb over? We were just talking about this. My roots are starting to show, so my my part keeps getting further and further you, over. You have some serious. Serious Farrah Fawcett 70s hair. Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that was beautiful. I know I told you that one's more filling. That's 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 and this will make this okay. recipe will make like what, ten? Yes. So yeah. three quarters a pound. Um of course you guys, if you're making this for more people, double everything yeah. up. And if you see my grandpa's recipe, the original it, one on the card, double it up. You're gonna have a lot. <laughs> well, okay, we're making ten, so you'll have twenty. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. oh. That's a 
with that one. Oh, okay, these are nice. Oh, smells so good. Okay, 350, so, 350, you guys, set your oven. Yep, and you keep doing this until they're all filled. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want me to help you? That would make it go yeah, faster. Yeah, that would make it go faster. We got a spoon, buddy. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Step them back. Oh. So as you do, oh, wait. Well, you fill. It's not faster if you have to stop. No. Silly. I'm just moving so you can I don't know. I don't want to cover up our oh, penis. You just pass on the hair burp. <laughs> oh, and pretty soon we have to have some music too. We oh to my god. <laughs> you can't eat bruises and drink some beer without the music. You should music. play it now though while we're making it. Oh, okay, yeah. One, two, three, four, five more to make. Oh, that one didn't work very well. So, oh, okay. Here, we'll so it. here, this <laughs> is an accordion version. Um, Christina was so upset that I wouldn't have choir practice with her. Ooh, you know that? That means drink. It's clean. You just can't not drink to that. Three, oh. Three. 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 Okay. Alright. That's the accordion version of this you is Du Liegst mehr im Herzen. And it's a German folk song. What just happened? I have no idea what happened. You're, I don't know, we got went to a different language. German. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Du Du Liegst mehr im Herzen is what's playing on the accordion right now. And that's a German folk song. Okay. But in the pubs and bars in Germany or even in America when they have Oktoberfest, people oh. are singing to this. Yes, and they're clinking the air. Okay. And there's words. You ready? Oh god, I'm gonna roll. You ready? Do do leak net and test and do. Oh my god. Do 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 See how lovely that is? Say it again! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm not going to make American Idol oh, anytime soon. It's all okay. my life, but you probably could. But it's all my life. It's all in good fun. Okay, so. Whoa, oh, you guys. Well, wait, can you guys hear me? I, want, I like the music. I want to play the plane. It's very I'm sure cultural. Uh -huh. You still have a plane. Okay, so you guys, these front room says um, are cute. Uh, Why are they? Nebraska and Kansas. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the Germans settled there. Mm -hmm. These were created in the 1800s. Now, you know, everyone has their own different shapes. So, like, Christina's grandpa did these, like, this, obviously, ways. the half moon. And squares. And squares. And, like, in Nebraska, their front runs are rectangle. And in, where is it? Oh. Kansas, they do more of a bun. Mm -hmm. So, you can do them, like, like oh any God. kind of shape, right? I mean, well, what other shapes can you make out of a circle? I don't know. Any out of, out of rolling oh, if you want to get creative with cookie cutters, you could do like a theme shape for a kid's birthday party or. Yes, yeah, like a Hello Kitty rooms up. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> Christy, if you're still there, we should do Hello Kitty Kraut rooms up. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's one. All right. Ooh. Okay. And we're like over time, but we're good. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, you want to like, we have to, a couple different things you can do. You can uh, base okay, them a little bit of. I feel like it's going to be distorted and we can't, they can't hear us. Okay. Who's can, laughing? <laughs> <laughs> you can base it with butter or okay. olive oil or a little egg white. Just something okay. to give it that little Just some melted butter. I like to see it. It makes me feel like I'm painting a canvas. I like I want to do them with my finger. Butter. Butter's fat and it's delicious. Butter is good. Real butter. Remember, you guys always use real butter. Grass fed beef butter. Don't it. be using any of that margarine spread. No. Or real butter. Butter. Real butter. Vegetable oil spread. Someone's laughing at it. There, I think everyone's <laughs> about laughing at it. Hey, us you right know now. what? We can have fun in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Do <laughs> you need a plank? Is it clink time? Is it? Yes. <laughs> okay, I feel like Christina's making me drink more. Oh, no. I know. Now, okay, I got it. Okay, so while I put the butter on these, you gotta 
want to take a paper towel and just wipe it out. You know what? Or, or, a paper or eat it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a good idea. Always taste your food, guys. Mm. Okay. Mm. The lid. Mm -hmm. mm. Yummy. Of course. Okay. All right. Just need to grab a paper towel. Wait, what do you need it for? So this. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Make the gas clean up. <laughs> Kim Lai Healing, Vietnamese manicures extraordinaire. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I need to like this. Sorry. I'm trying to do this kind of sideways. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh my gosh, it's one of my keyboards. <laughs> Wait. That's okay. Fun. Can you guys see the. Yay! I Yay! just covered up Christina's head. Give a part some thumbs if you can see it. Yes! Mm. Do you guys see the inside? That looks amazing. <laughs> Mm. Donuts. These are really good. 
Mm. Good job, Kim Lad. Good job, Christina. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. That was a little good. <laughs> no? We're just going to do like those Asians do in China where they get creepy, you will pay and watch them eat. Mmm. 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 We have stuff in our mm. teeth. Oh. Okay. No? That's good. Mm. So that crunch is amazing. I know, isn't that good? Mm. So delicious. I'm really surprised. I didn't know these were going to be so good. <laughs> I know, I told you. Yeah. We're going to some dough, some cabbage, and some onions, and it tastes fabulous. Mmm. Mm. We're going to wash it down with some beer. That's like really in my way. Okay. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Bow bungo job done. Ooh. Wow. Wow. We survived! Okay, guys. Oh, so TLC, when I come back, I'll bake these and bring them in for everybody. Mm. Here's another tip really quick. We were talking last night. You know some people that are eating keto-friendly or, um, <laughs> or they might be um, gluten-free. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Yep. You can use um, the tapioca flour for people that are, you know, are gluten, -free. gluten -free. Intoler intolerant. Or right intolerant. Flour. Right, flour. Intolerant. <laughs> yeah, gluten intolerant. Um, and then for the other stuff, you could, for keto. keto friendly people, you use coconut flour, you can use the almond flour, a lot of the nut flour, yep. right? Yep. In fact, I'm going to try it with the keto and the almond, with the coconut and the almond flour when I get home. Mm -hmm. I can get it to work. No. And, yeah, and then tapioca and rice for mm -hmm. gluten free. Mm -hmm. So there's so many different ways you can enjoy these. You guys, there's substitutions for so many recipes to make them more friendly to whatever your body. Um, and if you're doesn't react, yeah. And if you're vegetarian, just add more veggies. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just, yeah, they eat dough. Yeah. Yeah. At least my friend Lisa's vegetarian. She eats dough. Yeah. Just have lots of veggies too. Oh, no more joke. Okay. So you guys, thank you so. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> 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 <Watch> it down. <laughs> Look at. Yeah. yeah. Don't beat me. She's lying. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much. For <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. This was so much fun. Um, it's been a blast having Christina and Sarah and little King. Hi, and Kelly. I love her so much. <laughs> you can babysit her when she's little. Yeah, she's like 60, and of course I'm, you know, early 30. Um, <laughs> So, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and make sure, um, if you're watching the non channel right now, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can leave comments, and every week you will get a notification when um, we do our, when I do my show. <laughs> Christina's I'm moving to LA. <laughs> Sorry, okay. girl. Um, so you'll get notifications on the shows, and please make sure on all the social media channels, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, um, make sure to follow at Kim Lai Yingling. Okay, you guys, hope you guys all have an amazing week. We're going to go uh, work out now. Yeah. <laughs> Time to take some of this off. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next week. Bye, all you TLC people. Bye guys, thank you so much. Bye Bill. Thank you.